Hello everyone, welcome back. In this section, I'm just going to explain to everybody how to read economic calendars and why they're really important. Um, I've had a few questions, uh, recent videos we've done, obviously with the 34 moving average and about trading that system around news events. So what I'm going to do in this short video, I'm going to show you exactly how to read economic calendars and then we're going to go forward to showing you exactly why they're important, how to identify them and why we should really stay out of the markets. So what we're going to do, we're going to click to FX Street. Okay, a lot of them, I'm going to use FX Street for this video. So we're going to use FX Street and then forward slash economic calendar. I've also sent the links to some recent videos of this. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to, two seconds, just show you the link there now. I'm just going to put it on the bottom of the screen for you guys. Right, there it is. That is the link to this economic calendar. Right, how to read the economic calendars. Right, first thing we're going to do is make sure that you are on the right date. You can see at the moment it's Monday, the 13th of March. So this is the section that we're going to look between. So what we need to do is read between the lines here. First thing that stands out to us is anything red. Anything red is major, major news. Okay, so this is the first thing that we are going to highlight. Major news is going to be the ECB, European Central Bank, President Draghi's speech. So we're literally going to be looking at that first of all. But what I want to tell you about reading news is any base currency you down here. So you see Japanese yen, euro, 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 and then we've got US dollar, Japanese yen. Because this is a single base currency explaining, obviously, the economic data on its own country, what we need to do is realize that this is quoted against the US dollar by default. So any news that you're reading off of an economic calendar will always be across the US dollar pairs. So in this case, it would be euro, US dollar. This will be US dollar, US dollar, and I will explain that exactly in a second, Aussie, US dollar, and so on. So... Be aware that everything is quoted against the US dollar. All right, so the first thing we do, we've got some medium news, we've got some very, very minor news, and we've got some major news. Anything that's red, so euro against the US dollar red, this will literally factor in a point of saying that some major news is going to come out. So what we need to do is realize that this will affect the US dollar, which will affect the whole board of currencies across the Forex markets, and we are going to stay out. So a good half an hour, either side of this news, a half one, we are not going to be in the market. So in this case, we're going to go about one o'clock on the open of the one o'clock candle. We're going to say, we ain't trading. And then obviously this can go on for a little bit. So on the close of the two o'clock, we, we should be fine. So obviously, either side of that news. If the market is still very, very volatile on the charts, you just stay out for another hour till it's all over. Never trade major news events. Obviously, what I'm going to teach you to do is always trade the retracements afterwards. So US dollar. So that is a medium on the US dollar. So the US dollar, any news that affects the US dollar, which is one of the main currencies in the world, will affect everything. So anything that's medium to high, on the US dollar, you do not trade. So around three o'clock, we'd probably stay out of the market as well because this is going to be affecting absolutely everything. So Japan, that's, that's okay. That's only going to be minorly affecting the US dollar to obviously affect everything else. So what I'm going to explain to you is, unless it's a medium to red on the US dollar, you trade nothing, or if it's red on the single quote currencies you don't, don't trade anything. Don't think because this is red on the euro, well, I'm going to go across to the British pound pair and, and trade that, or we're going to go across to the Japanese yen and trade that. Because what happens is this will actually affect the US dollar, which will have a tail back effect on all the other currencies. And I'm going to cover this more in greater detail in later videos. But at the moment, I just want you to literally look at your economic calendar. First thing in the morning, before you even start trading, you look at Monday, we've gone through, we've identified that that's going to affect the majority of the market, so we're going to stay out, and we've got a bit of major, well, medium sort of getting on to major, which is the label market conditions, 
around the three o'clock mark. So this is GMT. Make sure it's set to the right time frame. If you live in America, make sure it's obviously EST or so on. And obviously if we're in the UK, we're going to make sure this is GMT. So yeah, so that is a really, really way to identify what news is coming out on an economic calendar. And in later videos, I will be showing you how we can literally research this and learn to trade it. But that's going to be in much later on videos.